Hello. In this topic we are going to talk about electronic filters and radio frequency filters. What is the electronic filter? It's a circuit which performs a signal processing function, especially to remove unwanted frequency components from the signal to enhance wanted ones or both. So we use filters to you know to separate signals and if we have like different signals if you want to choose one of them, use fil filter to, uh, you know, to get the, uh, to pass the wanted signal. Uh, RF devices include some kind of filtering on the signals transmitted or received. RF filters enable the required frequencies to be passed through a circuit while rejecting the frequencies that are not needed. I'm going to explain about this. Uh, actually, I uh, I give an example here. I give an example. This is one of the most important uh, thing, most important cases that we use uh, actually filter, uh, but it doesn't mean that we the only we, we only use filter for this. We we have also another filters which we use inside receiver or even in transmitter. But uh, this is a very good example that it can basically explains uh, what is filter doing here for us. So imagine that we have receiver and we have antenna. And there are lots of signals outside with different frequencies. For example, uh, I'm using a, f a phone, but um, there is also like GPS signal, or there is a, you know, a satellite signal or TV signal outside there that my that may uh, that my antenna may capture it, and it can be a, you know it can corrupt my signal and system. So here I just want to get my s desired signal. This the signal that I want. This is the frequency that I want, the, uh, this, the specific frequency. So I have to separate that signal. So as you see here, we have lots of signals coming to our filter from antenna. Our filter can help us to separate the wanted signal. So for example, here, my, my, signal, the, my desired signal is a blue one. So I can get this one, and um, I can uh, keep these signals here, I, and I, I'm not going to let them pass through the filter. So basically, uh, my filter is working based on a frequency and uh, these are like let's say the, the frequency here is F1, F2, F3 and F4 is F5 so this filter is designed to only pass the F4 frequency this is one of the cases that we use filter let's talk about the filter types we have four filter types, low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop. Uh, it's simple that we can see, for example, the low pass filter is only used for passing the signals with a lower frequency. So, like, let's say we have two signals. The first one is here, the second one is here. We can pass this signal, but uh, this filter removes because there is attenuation here. And basically the gain is zero. So we can only get this frequency here. The high pass is opposite of low pass. We can get a high uh, the signal with a high frequency, and we can uh, uh, you know eliminate the signals which has the low frequency. The band pass, which is used actually commonly, you know, uh, is so commonplace in uh, receiver structures. We want to get a, sp a special band. For example, we said that we have a frequency spectrum, okay, and the the, the frequency starts from zero and goes to like let's say for RF three kilo. What was that? Uh, 300. So, when we want to get, especially you know, the one one band here, we just want to get the the data from this. For example, let's say it's a 300 kilo to 3 gigahertz. We use a filter exactly like this, like a bandpass filter, and we get only information from here, and we attenuate. We don't let other signals from other frequencies pass to our system. So we only separate the signal from the others and get this band. So this is a band pass filter and it's it's as you see for example it can be a narrow band like this. It can get a very you know it uh, some kind of you know two or three different uh, th specific frequency but not like a very you know wide band. And also we have band stop is a uh, you know we can actually it's, it's a in again opposite of the band pass we can uh remove you know some signals from this band that we don't want them
as here also we can uh, explain this so let's say we have kind of like s you know signals this is intermediate frequency it's going to for example high frequency and we have a signal here and this is our one to signal we just want to get this and these are and these signals are all captured fr uh, by our antenna but we just want to have this so basically we have we we put a base uh, we we put a signal here band pass uh, sorry band pass filter here and this band pass filter uh kind of attenuates these signals all of them and just <coughs> let the signal pass as you see here this signal so after filtering we will only have uh, this signal coming out but we also have to know that uh, you know here we say that yeah, our filter gain is one because we just want to pass exactly you know we want to pass the signal we want we don't want any attenuation in the band that we want you know but it th in real life it's not possible <coughs> sorry because uh, when we design our filters they are not idle so we have kind of attenuation maybe it's like 0 0.8 let's say instead of one for example so here our signal will be a bit attenuated L let's say this is our uh, you know uh, real signal and after after uh, you know after filtering it would be like a bit you know reduction in the sorry reduction in the you know uh, amplitude here thank you for watching our video please don't forget to subscribe you can learn about this topic and more using our website the complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.